This is Al Algebra 1, 2.6, page 103 in your book. So open up to page 103, make sure you're going along with me in your book. There's lots of stuff to go over. Page 103, make sure you're watching the podcast before you do the lessons so you know, especially getting into some of this algebra stuff, you'll know exactly what I expect or you'll have to redo your assignments. So here we go, multiplicate. Multiplicative inverse, it's the uh, reciprocal, I don't think I spelled that right, R-E, R-E-C-I, there's no R right there, R-E-C-I-P-R-O-C-A-L, that's reciprocal. Okay, the reciprocal of a non-zero number A so the reciprocal of A is written 1 over A. And when you, um, the multiplicative inverse is just the reciprocal of the number. That's it. That's all. A recip so what is a reciprocal? Or, look, I was trying to figure out how to spell reciprocal and it's right there. Hi, yeah, yeah. Maybe I need to give up, huh? Kind of, maybe it's late, too late for me to do this. Um, and it's only seven o'clock right that right now when I'm making this one. So reciprocal um, of a number is when you, um, you know, I don't know, the best way to probably say reciprocal is, uh, at least what I do is I just say you flip, you flip it over, you flip a number over. So reciprocal would be like uh, three fourths. The reciprocal of three fourths is four thirds. Mean is a other word for average. You add up all the numbers and divide by number of numbers. And you've we've been doing average for a long time, so we'll do that when we get to it in the examples. Find multiplicative inverses of the numbers. The multiplicative inverse of negative one fifth is negative 5 because, why would that be? Actually, there's a key concept box before you go on. Make sure you write it right now. This one looks like it's got a couple, maybe. So there's two, three key concept box in this assignment. So algebra would be a times one over a, and eight would be like eight over one times one over eight. You flip it over, would be eight over eight equals one. So anytime you multiply a number by its multiplicative multiplicative inverse, it's going to be one. And um, the words, that's exactly what the word said. So take the time, write that down right now. Let me get it erased while you're writing it. Okay, and why is it the multiplicative inverse? Because when you multiply, it's supposed to equal one. So negative five times negative, or excuse me, negative one fifth times negative five, which is negative five over one is five over five, positive, positive one. And because, why are those? Because negative six sevenths times negative seven six, two negatives make a positive. You could actually cancel out all the numbers. The answer is one. So how do you prove multiplicative inverses? You try to multiply them, and if they come out to be one, then they are. Okay, division, there's another key concept for dividing. Okay, the key concept box says, to divide a number by a non-zero number, multiply by the multiplica multiplicative inverse. That's really hard to say. So here it is, A divided by B. So easy, you just multiply by the inverse. So instead of dividing by B, you take A and you multiply by the inverse of B, which is B over one. So you flip it over and it would be A over B. And if you multiply five divided by two, five times one half, you flip over the two over one and it comes out to be five halves, which is two and a half. So finding the quotient for numbers, quotients you divide, 
16 divided by 4. Now, I would not, I would not do this. It's too easy to do 16 divided by 4. Hey, 16 divided by 4 is just 4. And the rules for dividing integers is the same as multiplying. So since the signs are different, that good guys, bad guys story fits with this. If the signs are different, then the answer is negative. So I would not use the multiplicative inverse in that problem. This one, though, I would because you have a fraction. So negative 20 divided by negative 5 thirds. We change it to a multiplication problem like it told us to, and we flip this over. You take the inverse, then you just multiply. That'd be 20 over 1. Two negatives make a positive. And if we can't, if you're not sure about how to cancel, we've, we've canceled before. It's just easier to cancel. You could multiply first, though. You could take 20 times 3 and get 60 divided by 5, and that comes out to be 12 also. Find the multiplicative inverse of the number. So negative 27, I'm going to write it as a fraction, so I then can flip it over. Negative 1 over 27, there's the inverse. Just flipped it over. 8, so I'm going to write it as a fraction, flip it over, and if you were to multiply those, they would equal 1. This one's already a fraction, so it's easy to flip over. Done. That's how easy it is. And already a fraction, flip it over. Actually, that's just going to be negative 3 over 1, just negative 3. This one's just plain old division. I use the good guys, bad guys. The signs are the same, so the answer is going to be positive. And 4 goes into uh, 64, I believe, 16 times. So I just divide that one out, positive 16. This one's not quite as easy since there's fractions, so let me erase that stuff. So uh, negative 3 eighths. We change it to multiplication, and then we flip. We take the multiplicative inverse, and two negatives, a negative and a positive. And the threes cancel out. We get 10 over 8, and that's 1 and 2 eighths, which is 1 and 1 fourth, and it is negative. It's all negative. Negative 1 and 1 fourth. Same thing here, 18, I'm going to write it as 18 over 1. I'm going to change it to multiplication. I'm going to flip this number over, it's inverse. And I'm going to cancel what I can, the 2 and the 18, and I get negative 81. Another one, this one, negative 2 fifths. We don't do anything with the first number. We change this to multiplication. 18 is like 18 over 1, so we flip it over. We cancel out the numbers. One negative, so the answer is negative 1 over 45. Example 3, find the mean. The table gives the daily minimum temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit in Barrow, Alaska for the first five days of February 2004. Find the mean, the daily minimum temperature. So we look at this and here we're multiplying and you can see that Sorry, I have my cell phone on ring there. So give me a second here. Sorry. What? So um, we're going to add up all of these temperatures. They're all negative. So we know they're all going to be negative. When you add up negatives, they stay negative. So we're going to go 21 plus 29. And I'm just going to add two numbers at a time so I don't get too crazy. 39 would be 989. Sorry, I don't know why it's going sideways. And then 39 again. 8, 9, 10, 12, plus 22. So it's going to be negative 150. And then you divide by how many we added. We added 5 days worth. So it's going to be negative 30. Same rules as multiplying. You have a positive and a negative. So the answer is negative, so negative 30. And they did the same thing. There's the same numbers got the same answer. 
All right, simplify an expression. Now, this is really important here. This is one that I will be able to tell whether or not you watch the podcast as to how I tell you how to do this, these problems right here. Simplifying this expression, the six, when it's written under here, it means we are gonna divide this top all by six, but you do it in however many terms are up here, you divide them by six. So you're gonna take six into the first term and you're gonna take six into the second term. So six goes into 36 six times and you just carry the X with it. Then you put the minus and six goes into 24 four times. That's it, that's all you have to do. You can't subtract those because they are not like terms. So let's see how they explain it. They, I think, you know, they write it as division, but I think that that's confusing. I think, let's do it my way. What do you guys think? The distributed, yeah, that's, yeesh, I don't like that at all. And look, we ended up with the same answer. How much easier that is, huh? All right, find the mean of the numbers. So negative three plus four, now have to be careful on that and keep, keep into account the negatives, plus 2.8 would be 3.8 minus 1.5, because it's negative. So it'd be 2.3, and we're gonna divide that by one, two, three, four numbers. We'll put our decimal up there. Four goes into 23 five times, which is 20. Add a zero. In, division, in decimals, you gotta keep going. Um, I don't know how long this one is planning on going, but we'll go wise here. It goes in there seven times, which is 28. That would be two, add another zero, bring it down, four goes into 20, five times, and it would be that exact. So 0 0.575 is the average. Hold on, let me get these arranged. Find the mean temperature for the first five days in February. Did they give us another chart? Oh, there we go. So we add, we got all negatives. So uh, 20, 40, 60, 70, and the eight and the two make 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. I'm getting negative 84. And I'm gonna divide that by five. So it goes in there once, it's gonna be negative. That's going to be five, that's gonna be 34. That goes in there six times, which is 30. Bring that down, I added a decimal, so a 16, it goes in there eight. So the average temperature is 16.8. Negative 16.8, excuse me. And we should put a label on it since it's a story problem, degrees Fahrenheit. Our answer right there. Simplify the expression. So here's our dividing. We're going to take four into this and four into that. Well, you know what? Look at that. It's two over four. So we really don't want to divide. If we do divide it, it would come out a half. So it's, this is like just looking at a fraction that you reduce. So it's going to be negative one half x and negative four into negative eight. Two negatives make a positive and four goes into eight twice. And erase. So this one divide three into this, three into that. Three goes into six two times, it'll be negative two y plus six. Five into there and into there. Two negatives make a positive, it goes in there twice. Two z, two negatives make a positive again, plus four. It's nice when they go in even, they don't have fractions like that first one. All right, I guess that's it. Um, that's it, we will see you have, um, be careful on these, please ask questions again. These are, it's gonna just keep getting harder and harder.